today I am making a cranberry apple coleslaw. I have a bag of coleslaw mix and this is 16 ounces and I'm going to try to make this as keto friendly as possible but I am adding one Granny Smith apple and a half a cup of cranberries. So I'm just going to take this off here and I'm going to change the dressing because I want to make it my own and I will try the dressing as well. I got my apples stuck to this so I'm going to get these all off. Okay, I need a half a cup of cranberries. Okay, now into the bowl, I'm gonna add a half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm also gonna add my vinegar that I made with my apple peels and Mrs. Bragg's. Um, I've got some sweetener and what it is is the great, great, um, sweetener and I have fresh ground pepper that I ground from peppercorns and Himalayan pink salt. So let me get this into the bowl and I'll start adding the rest of the seasonings. Okay, I'm going to add some of my vinegar. I'm going to add two tablespoons and I'm going to add Mrs. Bragg's one tablespoon. I could have probably measured it better, but I can re-season or add more or less. And I'm going to add some salt and some pepper. And I'm also going to add the um, granulated um, sweetener, but I'm going to add it a little bit at a time. Okay, I'm making the dressing and what I did was I added three to four tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar and about four tablespoons of my vinegar. Um, I added um, four teaspoons of um, the natural sweetener or the um, artificial sweetener because I didn't want real sugar in here. So anyways, I'm going to pour that into my coleslaw and I'm going to let that marry. And I'm going to get that all off camera. I'm just going to toss this. And I'm going to let this stay in the refrigerator. And for a couple hours until I'm ready to prepare dinner. And I'm going to make this with a brie apple smoke bacon burger. So let me get this mixed. 